Okay, reaping here, everybody, and welcome back to Automaton. Man, has it been a while, hasn't it? Um, yeah, apologies for that. I just, you know, I I noticed that a lot lately, not just lately, I guess it's been like for a few years or so, that when I play Minecraft nowadays, it's kind of more in like bursts. And, you know, I've been playing this game for... Is it eight years? Seven, eight years? Almost eight years, I think. My first... Let's Play series came out in November or something. I can't remember. Uh, it's been like almost eight years, I believe, since I started playing Minecraft. So, you know, done a lot of things. Sometimes it's very repetitive, etc. So I'm not like... I, I, t I tend to play it in bursts. You know, I always feel like, oh, I want to do this now. And then I play it. And on top of that, I think it's because I try to focus a bit more on creative stuff nowadays. You know, like building and such. Which is a ton of fun, but it, it always comes with, like, the downside of you kind of have to be inspired or have some ideas at least. Sometimes inspiration isn't enough. Sometimes you just gotta, like, do it and hope that, you know, inspiration comes. Um, but, you know, like, if you, if you don't feel like anything, like, is coming up, you don't have any ideas or something, it's difficult to do something. So you kind of, like, take a break from it and hope that uh, next time maybe you have more inspiration, right? So, you know, that's that's kind of a bit tricky that it doesn't go in there. Uh, is this coal? No, it's Mountsies. <laughs> so, you know, th that kind of stuff happens. And that's why, like, I just felt like playing some other games and such, right? There isn't, there isn't a real reason or anything why I haven't played. It's just like, you know, I feel like playing other things. Because I feel like, oh, I, play, um, I got my fair share of Minecraft. How long have you been playing in this world, by the way? Two days. So like, you know, 48 hours, over 48 hours. So it's quite a bit for, you know, for me personally. I usually don't, I think I mentioned that before, that my general time I spend in games is like around the 30 hour mark for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. It's just something that seems to happen. Um, you know, and then after a while I just get uh, bored, I guess, of it. I guess you would say it's boring. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but you, you get what I mean, right? Like, I, w I just want to play something else. And I do have a second channel, I mentioned that before. And so I've been, like, just playing a bunch of games over there and really enjoying that. Um, I'm, I like that quite a bit because I can, you know, kind of play whatever I want. I've been taking it really chill lately, too. I've been, like, really uh, slowing it down. Didn't I have Netherrack in here? When I started with the second channel, I went a little bit crazy with, I think I had like four different games running at a time or something. It was insane a bit. Um, it was super fun and I managed to do it still, but yeah, I, I think if I kept up <laughs> with that, uh, it would have drove me crazy in the end. So I kind of calmed it down a bit. Uh, currently I'm playing Fallout New Vegas and that's kind of the main game. And then other than that, I'm like, have like, um, I have like a Tomb Raider series running right now. But I already finished that entire series, so all these episodes that are upload being uploaded are already like, you know, they are already like, like I finished the game. I just have all these episodes sitting around, so they're all queued up, scheduled, so they're going to run until like October-ish or something. And I don't have to worry about it. Um, I started doing some like point-and-click adventure games, because it's like my favorite genre. And I always wanted to do more of those games, and so I started that as well. Uh, and yeah, it's been pretty. It's been pretty fun to me. It's 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 nice because I think I mentioned that before that how if you make an episode in Minecraft, it can take like you know, I don't know, three hours usually minimum or something up to several hours or days even sometimes if you go super crazy. Mine usually don't take that long because I try to not to do it for that long. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it can happen. Um, so you just have, you know, it's just a bit more chill if you do it, if you do other games. So yeah, lots of fun over there. If there's something you want to check out, go check it out. So I noticed that a lot of people have been subbed to this channel recently because of Automaton. I guess somehow the 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 pack got like some sort of um, traction or something. I'm not sure. Like just people suddenly seem to sub and say, hey, I started off with the pack. Um, needed help with some things, so, you know, checked out the videos and they helped them, which is super cool to hear. I always loved, I think that's always the, the main goal was for me in Minecraft, like, even the first episode I ever made of Minecraft. It's always been kind of about, not just sharing my experience, but also hoping that what I'm doing or what I'm saying can somehow help someone in their game as well. 
That's always the greatest feeling to me. And uh, now I could do more tutorials and stuff, but tutorials always fail. I really like... Ah, tutorials are difficult, man. <laughs> so, I, I rather like the natural, you know, playing style. Like, you just play and explain things out this way. As you're, as you're doing stuff, you know, it's kind of like a tutorial with gameplay. And I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know, just got, uh, just felt like playing again. Uh, this is my Minecraft burst. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> it might be just this episode. And then, several months later, another one. I'm not sure, and I'm not, I'm not gonna stress it anymore. I've been stressing about YouTube so much lately, and I've been trying to, like, think about this quite a bit, about how I'm, uh, I'm way into this. Like, I'm, I'm putting way too much into this for where I am at with YouTube, and it's a bit crazy. It's not good. Uh, just like time-wise and mentally, it's not good. So I've been like really reducing that and just taking it more chill. And it's been much more enjoyable that way as well, to me at least. Uh, not sure if to people, but you know, whatever. You, you should always, it's, it sounds selfish, but you should always put yourself first, kind of, a little bit. But, like I said, I have, a, I have a bunch of things on a list that I want to do. Like that, you know, the lighthouse tower over there that I never built. One day. I have it on my list one day but I didn't want to build something today I didn't want to jump in with my first episode where I like build something right away wait what happened here oh it goes in here ah magic uh, so instead we do something a bit more techy and something that's a bit more easy oh yeah the pack updated did I mention this I actually did like uh, this is the second time I recorded the intro because I just stumbled over my words and didn't know what I was going to say even this intro was terrible <laughs> I'm just like it's also late at night Going back to the roots, you know, recording at like 2 a.m. Um, just seems just seems good for me. It just seems fun to record at night. But yeah, the the quest book reset because the uh, not reset but like quest change because the pack updated just recently, and so like these uh, these three were like disabled again. So I had to like this uh, enable them again so we can have this one. But I think I want to kind of like get a bit started on the storage system, you know, just so we can get rid of this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think we're going to do this. I think it should be fun. Get uh, AE2 started. Now, hopefully we have the power for it. If not, then, oh well. We have the system at least. But, uh, yeah, we need, we definitely need the power for it. So, I'm just looking at this. It does want you to make energy acceptor. Now, this always confuses me. And I, I don't know if I mentioned that before. But you don't technically need this block. This is not a required block as far as I know. You can do AE if you have a controller by just hooking it up to a controller, the power directly. Uh, I think the energy acceptor is only useful if you cannot hook it up to power. So, uh, but you know, it, we, we want to finish the quest too. So I guess we should do this. <laughs> so we need quartz glass, another quartz, quartz and, uh, and glass. It's so weird to play this, man. It's so weird to play this. I'm just so out of the loop of this. Like, I'm, I keep pressing the wrong buttons and everything. And, you know, I also still want to make this other mod pack. Do I not have glass? Ah, uh, I don't know if I can use that. Well, I guess we can try. Doesn't have to try, I guess. Let's see if there's some in here. I think it might... There's light gray. I think it might be in the other building. A big one. Uh, we'll check it out. Do we have dust here? Because we can. This is certain quartz dust, though, right? No, we don't want to. We want to use normal quartz, I think, right? Well, we don't have a ton of this either. Uh, we just put it in a crusher, I guess. Oh, maybe we never made the crusher. Did I always like mill it with my hand? Maybe I did. Huh? Yeah, no crusher. Okay. Well, I guess we use this one then. Certain quartz dust. Um, that should be fine. Hopefully we can use it with this glass. Yes, we can. Let's just make all of it. Because we'll probably need it anyway. Storage system is always so useful to have. Uh, where did I even get this glass from here? Maybe. Let's put it in there. But yeah, how, I, how have you guys been, man? It's been so long since I talked to you guys. Since I've done anything. And if you're still watching. <laughs> like, since the, the first few episodes. Since the first time we did this. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. I do really appreciate it. Because it's always like in YouTube when you like don't upload for a long time. Uh, people tend to leave. Understandably. You know. But uh, yeah, usually there's a lot of people who stick around, which is super nice. Uh, let's just grab this maybe. 
But yeah, I still want to work on my own mod pack, but I don't know if I will and when and such. It's going to take a while. Probably not going to take do it for a while. I also, th I also thought about just streaming this pack after a while because it would be a bit easier. Might do this as well. Maybe like a little bit of both, you know, like stream while building or something. And then uh, do some videos here and, here and there. But we shall see. I don't want to go too crazy, like I said. We'll take a chill. It's supposed to be fun and relaxing. So hopefully it will be. Okay, so we need to make some cables too. So that's just flux dust and quartz fiber. Can we make... Oh, it's the same. I think we need the crusher. I think I might just make the crusher. I feel bad about making that though. Because... Oh, we can pulverize this one though. Oh, but that has to be the ore. Shoot. <laughs> I just used up all the ore. Uh, we need the crusher. How expensive is the crusher? It's really easy to make, but it's kind of like jumping ahead, I guess, again. Where's my mouse scroll not working? Oh, it is. That was weird. Yeah, let's just make it. It's going to make it so much easier. I really thought I had it, but I guess not. Okay, we need those two and these, and we need some redstone. There we go. So neat. Boink. But yeah, there's actually like... I guess there are technically almost three mod packs I want to make. So, yeah, a bit crazy. Let's open this one too. Nice. That's actually good stuff because I don't need to make these things. Okay. All right, and then let's just replace this guy real quick with the crusher. Oh, right up here. Jeez. Can you tell that I haven't played in a while? It's fine. All right, now we can do it. So let's get some set of squads and just crush it down. Look at that animation though. So cool. But yeah, I, I think also like, you know how I was always worried about mod modifying the pack? Uh, I think I'm going to add the Torchmaster mod to this so I can make my island peaceful. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about mobs and just make it a bit easier for like decoration. I think it's going to be cool. So I might do that. We'll see. All right, let's give me some of this. I don't need too much yet. We just need to make this once, I guess, for the quest. But we do need a bunch of these cables anyway. So let's go ahead and do that and use this one. It's quartz fiber. And then we use some flukes crystals. Need more. And then we get the ME cables. Need to make more of this stuff too. I'm not sure if I have enough. Well, I don't have a lot of quartz. I may have to go out and get more. So that's eight of those. Then we need the covered cable and the smart cable. The smart cable are super cool. Do we make the smart cable with the covered cable? Yes, we do. So we need to make the covered one first, which is just a cable with wool. Easy peasy. We have some. Let's use up this green one. I don't think it matters, really. And uh, let's just do all of them, because I do want to have all of the smart cable. Is there no way to like directly make smart cable? No, I guess not. You have to cover them first, and then combine them with redstone and glowstone dust. Okay. Uh, which I seem to be out of. Uh, I think I may have to go to the nether real quick. And then I may as well grab some quartz. Alright, I guess I'll do that. Alright, got a bit of glowstone or the tawn, but it's definitely going to be enough for what we need right now. Well, actually I have a bunch of blocks still that I need to break down. But there we go, that should be that, right? Yep. And as a reward we get more cables so i think i'll just oh now nah, let's take the normal one so we can just turn them into smart cable i think that would be, would be better dense cable we don't need yet we don't need this crystal cross would be nice too but uh see the thing is i want to make my own system right now but i i feel like i need to follow these otherwise i'm gonna make things um you know like double again but the way this is set up is kind of weird like we we shouldn't make crystal grows accelerators before we even get started with an AE system, I find. But, okay, whatever. I'll do it. Just so I don't have to repeat some recipes again. Alright, the crystal grows accelerators. We've, I think we've done it before, right? Where we went and made the um, flukes crystals. Where you take uh, charges, quartz, nether quartz, and redstone dust in a puddle. That makes, like, these, these little guys, right? There's a better version, a pure version. And there's a pure version of... Uh, all three different kinds uh, the Surtis Quartz, the Flux Crystal and the Nether Quartz Crystal which is also pretty nice because I think we can use this uh, can we grind this down? 
I guess you can't grind these down, can you? No, but you need them for certain things too. Uh, or maybe they're just more efficient. I don't quite remember. But in any case, uh, it's also nice to make, you know, Surtis Crystal and stuff. But to make these things, you need these little seeds. And these seeds are just with dust and sand. And then you toss these seeds into water. But they grow extremely slowly unless... I think it takes like... What was it? 10 minutes? No, it's longer than that, isn't it? Pear grows? Maybe it's 10 minutes. No, I feel like it's longer than that. Anyway, if you get these crystal, uh, crystal growth accelerators, you can speed up that process a lot. We can also make this chamber, which is nice because... Uh, these, you need to kind of like build uh, in the world, like, you know, like, let's say you have a puddle of water in here. You build these crystals around so they can like grow in this spot. But if you have like this crystal growth chamber, you can, it's just an, Im it has an inventory. You just don't build the items and it's easier to, uh, you know, take them out and put them in again. So having six of these would actually be pretty beneficial for us. So we'll see how much we can do. I don't know if we should. Like that's a lot of things. I don't know. Oops. One less. I think I can break them down, right? Yeah. I think, yeah, we should do that. Do we have 12 cable? No. Yeah, yeah, we got them. Yeah, okay. So all we need is a glass, right? And iron. And that's a quartz glass. So it should be easy to make. And it's worth it, I think, in the long run. Because they're just so... They speed up the process so much. And then we want to take another cable chest and a hopper. So take this and... Do we have a chest in here? Yes. There we go. Now this thing requires a lot of power usually though, so I don't know if that's going to be something we can even power right now, but we'll try. This thing is so noisy. There's a noise upgrade too usually you can make to reduce the noise. But uh, we can also, just for the sake of it, turn this down a bit. <laughs> and you know what? Well, let's leave it on a little bit. And we also turn down ambient a bit. I think that's the rain, the water outside. Yes. Alright, cool. That's a little bit better. All right, that finished up the quest though, which is nice. Oh my God, I should have checked first. Yep, always check. We did get free ones and there's the chamber. Sometimes this game, I mean this pack, <laughs> is driving me crazy. Ah, I just made this. I just made it. I wish it was a retrieval task. I'm so gonna cheat, screw that. Like that's just silly, so. In case, I figured this out uh, too, how you can easily complete these quests. Look, so what you want to do is press F3 and H. That turns on advanced tooltips, right? Which gives you all this crazy extra info if you hover over something like the Minecraft diamond axe, MBT tags, etc. If you do that and you go into your quest book, you can see the ID. So cross chamber, ha uh, like, you know, the <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> What's it called? Why did I forget the real name for it right now? Whatever, you know what I mean. 52, right? That's the ID, and then you can just do BQ admin, complete, and then the ID. Boink. So that's how you like do that in case your quest ever broke, right? I think we have a lot of certain squads right now. Let's take the flux, fluke seeds. I think I want to use those rather right now. Look at these tiny things. So tiny! Cool. Now, and then this one, like I said, is just like a block you put down. Oh, no, no not these guys, sorry. That's not the right one, it's this one. Boink, crystal grows, and that's where you put the seeds in, give it power, and then it will grow them. I guess we could... I mean, we don't have our big power system over here. I think I'm just going to put this outside somewhere. Like, I need to set up our power system so it actually transports power over here. Because I don't think it's connected right now, right? Yeah, this is not connected to this system. And this system isn't even connected to this system. <laughs> so, yeah. We need to, like, fix this... At one point, do we have cables on us in our fancy little box here? We do. Not these. These guys. Oh, and uh, connectors. There we go. Nice. I like I like to have this little box. Now, obviously, this is not going to give a lot of power. Is this LV? Yeah. I guess I could grab it from here, too. You know what? Let's grab the HV. So, let's just do this and... Alright. How... Can we see how quickly it drains? Oh, no, you know what, this one, okay, okay, good thing we have the energy acceptor. So, like, in this case, yes, the energy acceptor is nice, because this doesn't accept RF power on its own. It only accepts the AE power. Um, but if you had this hooked up to an ME system with a controller, 
all connected items would share power and the me controller itself would be able to uh you know um transfer the power but yeah this will this should do yeah now you can see it's blinking now it's working and look how fast it goes up right when you try to shoot that, like that's ridiculously fast but it may drain our power probably not because these guys are probably still filled like we have power going here which is nice yeah we get we get we just need to connect this to our main hub so we can actually get our um power over there if you have the ae system running but yeah, you can see it's growing like in different stages and boom, there it is. Now we got these. And these two are inter uh, interchangeable. Interchangeable? Is that the word? They're interchangeable. I think so. <laughs> Except for I think this one is actually required in certain recipes. So I think there's some way you have to use that little one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here for example, wireless connector. You do need this one. You can't use the other one. So just something to keep an eye out for. I'll just let this thing leave, uh, sit over there for a bit. And we had some of these in here before too from a quest, so we can just put them with the rest, I guess. All right, so let's make the inscribers then. So we have the normal inscriber here. We already made one, but again, this is a crafting recipe. And actually there is also a advanced inscriber. This is from A2 stuff. So same as the crystal cross chamber we just made, it's from this additional mod. It doesn't come uh, on its own with, um, it doesn't come with normal AE. So you, it's just like an add on. Um, but we do have to still make one of those again. But well, we already made it though. So see, this is the thing again, because we already have it here, right? It's like, why do I need to make another one? Although it is nice to have multiple of these, to be honest. And we kind of need, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to make another one, I think. Because it, it is worth it to have several of these, uh, just to speed up the process a bit. Man, we got to do something about slimes, slime balls. I always need them and I always run out of stuff and then I have to do this recipe here with the lime stuff. <laughs> it's silly. Um, we do have a slime in a bucket, which is basically you just take a slime and it turns it into that. Nope, that was a lie. You just put it... Oh, no, you have to catch this one. You can turn this guy. No, I thought you could. Oh, it's just interchangeable, I guess. Okay. Well, you, you catch a slime in a bucket and if you have this... Uh, and you go into like a slime chunk. I don't know if there's one around here. He will like stick out his little hat. So you know that this is a chunk where slimes will spawn like here. Right. And then you can do, what is it? G? Oh, we don't see it because of the shaders. But you get the idea. And then you can see in this chunk there's going to be slime. So we can build a slime farm there. So it's probably something as well to put on our list of many things to do. Because that would be super helpful. All right. So I got the stuff for these things. So three more. There we go. Now we have four of them, which is nice. Gonna turn this in, get our silicone, which is good. So I don't need to like make that. How do we make silicone in this? Is it quartz or something? Yeah, it's nether quartz or certus quartz cooked or crushing sand. Oh, that's super nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that would make it easy. Okay, so we got that. Um, what do you want me to do next? Processors, right? And then the ME controller. Okay, got it. So we need a logic, calculation, engineer. All right. All right, super ghetto setup. <laughs> Just hooking them up here. I don't think we'll have enough power. I think this is gonna drain very quickly if I start doing this. But basically, remember how we like collected all these patterns here, these presses? Well, that's where they're being used now. So we can put one in each of these guys. And basically, so for example, this one, the silicone press, we just put in our silicone, I guess here, and it will do, 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 do its thing and then stamp it. And now we got the silicone or printed silicone thingy here, right? Um, and then that's that's what we can use to make these processors that we need here, these guys. Uh, so we need like this as a base, and then depending on what you put in here, they need different materials. So the logic one is gold, right? So you need gold ingot. The engineering one is iron or oh, diamond, so you need a diamond uh, for this. Or yeah, just a diamond. This is just to make the press. Uh, and then the calculation press, right? So you need the uh, the pure certus so quad. So this is one of those where you need a pure one. And we do have some pure, so I'm just going to use that one. And the problem with these guys is, with these inscribers is, we can only put one in at a time to get one. So that's why we kind of want the advanced inscribers, because these guys can have several items inside. But we do need the engineer's press to even... Uh, get there. So let's also grab some uh, diamonds and some gold. 
And I'll just stand here and shift click a bunch of times, I guess. All right, so I made eight of these things, printed ones. Um, we need eight for the logic one to complete the quest and then four and two. And then we need a bunch of these still, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this. At the same time, I want to make the diamond ones first because we're gonna use them to make the advanced inscribers uh, first so we can just speed this process up a little bit. So to do that, take out the pattern again. So technically you could have a fist one, I guess. And then put in that guy. The silicone and redstone. You can see it there again. After a few seconds, boink, we got it. Right, there we go. One of those, okay. So I'm gonna make only one more, I guess. And that will be enough to make one of these advanced guys. There we go. And plop this one here. Uh, I think this one also needs IF. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it does. So what we can try now, for example, since we do need a bunch of these guys, right, we can just put this one in here and then drop in the silicone. See, we can put in the whole stack. And, oh, this one, uh, I think this one needs this power maybe. Yeah, see, now it's like going. And it also keeps the inventory when you close it, which is nice. So this is nicer, right? And you can upgrade this with like a bunch of speed upgrades and such to make this a lot faster. But yeah, it's, it's so much better. All right, there we go. I made all the ones we need. So let's just claim our little reward and now it lets us make the AME controller. Okay, it's not really the order I would have done this, to be honest. Well, you, you know what though? Uh, Yeah, I would have skipped this one. And I guess if you just go straight this down this line, it would work well. Uh, it's just a bit odd that it lets you like strafe off into other directions, I guess, because some of these things you don't technically need for just the ME system, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, ME controller, the heart of everything. So how expensive is it in this? It wasn't too bad, right? So we needed the graphite. Oh, wait, really? I forgot about this. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I forgot we needed the squeezer and stuff for this, right? And coke dust, we need the crusher. How did I forget about that? Oh no. I don't think that changed. I think that was like this last time too. Got some steel. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> I guess. Hey, at least, you know, at least we made it. We made everything we need up until then. I guess. Oh boy. What a failure. This is what happens if I don't play for and record for two months. Minecraft. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, you know what then? I, well, you know, we made some progress. We got we got our way towards AE, I guess. We aren't quite there yet then, but we are getting close. We have these things, you know, we have the gross chamber. We have our cables. We have pretty much everything. Like we can make these uh, pretty easily. We can make Skystorm we have and a kinetic. The only thing, like I said, is then what we need is the hop graphite, graphite, and I don't think we got any of this like from quests or something. So, ah, uh, there's a chance. I think it's possible that some of these immersive engineering guys would trade for that, but I don't think. I feel like I would have saved the guy if if that was the case. Oh yeah, I don't have flight here. <laughs> um, okay, the snow village didn't have one. But this one does. Might as well take these boxes. Is the guy here? Oh yeah, I took his carpet. I remember. He probably isn't too happy about this and left. Yeah, I have no idea. Can't find him or any of them. And not sure what happened. Maybe they died. Uh, but I don't think any of them had a trade for that. So it's probably fine. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I forgot about that little detail. So, but it's okay. We have, you know, we we prepared things. So later on, we'll we'll be able to uh, just progress pretty easily. But yeah, I I guess we're gonna stop it here for today. Sorry about the super probably super uh, chaotic episode. Uh, just I guess just trying to get back into the groove. It will be better next time. I promise. It won't be as crazy. Um, I think because I had, I kind of had different plans at first for this episode, but then decided not to do it. Um, like I was trying to do some building and such, but 
I would have taken too long, so I decided to go with this instead. But yeah, for, I don't know why, but for some reason I forgot about this little detail. So it's a bit unfortunate, but you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. Uh, like I said, at least we have some uh, of that progress done. So yeah, pretty much all of this. Well, kind of like this <laughs> today. So that's cool. Hey, mechanism. Oh boy, we already made some of these machines. Oh wait, did this just unlock? I think it did. I think we made, you know what, we probably made a quest, you completed a quest that unlocked this. This wasn't unlocked earlier, I don't think. So that's kind of cool. Why is this done again? Is this repeatable? This quest book is so broken. <laughs> it's okay. All right, but yeah, like I said, um, you know, trying to get back into this. We'll see how often I'll record some. I'll try to record some somewhat regularly, but uh, definitely not an everyday thing. I'll try maybe a week, once a week, if I can, or we'll see. Whatever is fun, whatever, whenever I have time and such. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Why is there a hole in my base still? It's not the right block, but it's a block. All right, take care, guys. Bye bye.